what can bring us together better than Syracuse basketball? And uh, we welcome you to Facebook Live and uh, a fun production, we hope, of an opportunity to watch the 2003 National Championship game all over again. We have with us a live feed from the Bayheim household. Hello, Coach. Hey, how's everybody? <laughs> Good to have you with us. we got Jerry McNamara, who had a big first half in that game back in 2003 in New Orleans. No second half. I didn't play in the second half, Matt. <laughs> Well, Jerry, we're going to take it easy on you tonight. Second half is optional uh, tonight, just as it was uh, 17 years ago. Uh, Troy Weaver, assistant coach, is there as well. Low Weave. And we've got a number of potential uh, guests that will kind of fold in over time. So the game's about to start, guys. Who's watched the game before, beginning to end? Most of it. Some of it. Weave, you ever watch it? You've been busy in the NBA. I watched it, but not from beginning to end. Human. So say hello to Queth Dwayne, team captain from back then. A starter. Good to see you, Queth. Away we go. What were you thinking, Coach? You'd, you'd been there in 87 and 96, and you'd ridden this great team, the 30 and or 29 and 5 going into that game in New Orleans. Well, before the game, we were thinking, you know, Kansas just beat Dwayne Wade and Marquette by about 50 points. And obviously that was, uh, you know, they put on a <clears throat> and defense, try to take their running game away. And we, we did that. That was a big part of it. But, um, you know, it was always going to be a tough game. Uh, they had different guys. Uh, we were the young team, uh, but we were coming off a really good win against Texas. So, uh, in those games, as we found out, anything can happen. And uh, uh, I think really the key: we got off to a great start. Jerry got off to a great start. We hit a lot of shots early and we got control of the game. But uh, you know, you know, you always knew they were going to come back because they have veterans and uh, a really, really good team. So. Um, that's really what, how we looked at the game. Let's get back on defense and, uh, you know, make some shots. Yeah, that's a, a big part of the, the strategy in this one. Uh, the 1988 game is on uh, CBS Sports. That's about to wrap up uh, as Kansas edges Oklahoma. So our game will start any second. Hey, Queth, how are you, man? We haven't heard from you in a while. Uh, and you're, you're back in the States for the time being, huh? Yeah, yeah. I just got here about a month and a half ago. Um, you know, we're all... He said sheltering in place, uh, but it's good to be back stateside. Uh, and, 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 you know, just back to some normalcy. Been in, on the continent of Africa for the last uh, 12 years, but we're back full time now and enjoying uh, Florida. Uh, and it's, it's just it's nice to be back. It's good to see some old faces. I see Coach Bay there here. Really old. <laughs> I <was> like, <laughs> hearing his voice again, I'm, I'm close and personal. You know, it's, it's good. Not yelling, not yelling at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still can't get the voice out of my head. Yeah, you know, I can't get it. It's, it's still there. You see a Jerry there. Got a full beard. Looking you man. Good, you know? You're looking good to good. see you, man. Yeah. All right, good. guys. The game's about to start. Here's the lineup. And uh, you remember this uh, Kansas team. And there's uh, Mello, freshman, and didn't act like it, did he? No, it certainly didn't. Certainly I'd say good. so. I'd say so. Pretty good. Nick Collison was an all Big 12 player. Kirk Heinrich had a good NBA career. It's so the heck of a Kansas team. They did not have uh, Wayne Simeon. You can see in the background there, was out with uh, surgery just prior to the game. Yeah. There's Craig Forth out of Albany. Yeah. Craig yeah. may join us here at some point. Uh, you're behind the TV version here, I guess. We're looking. Yeah, we're gonna have a little delay, I would think, depending on people's various feeds here. So we'll just kind of hang out. In, in my end, it's the starting lineup here just now. Yeah, we're. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll rewind it and get on the same. <laughs> there you go. You can do that. Yeah. There you go. I see Jerry coming out on the court. Got a little hug from Q. My guy. Coach, the uh, plan here was obviously to pack in the defense. You, 
you got back so extraordinarily well that uh, it, yeah. it stymied them from the start. Yeah, I mean, you want to take that away. And then, you know, obviously shooters, you know, Heinrich was the guy we had to focus on uh, in the half-court situation. He, you know, he's a tremendous shooter. Um, they weren't a great shooting team, so that was uh, a factor. Miles was okay at the point, but uh, not a great shooter. So we felt we could get back inside a little bit. Collison, you know, really good interior player. But, um, you know, they were... If you limit their fast break, you have a chance, and that's that's basically what happened. And then, uh, and then, you know, obviously the game starts when we make a lot of shots. Two winningest coaches at the time that had not yet won a national championship. Uh, you'd been close, obviously, especially in 87 and, and uh, 96 as well. And Roy Williams has won several championships since with North Carolina. Here's some of the keys. I think we got Craig Forth making his way in too. Hey, Craig, can you hear us? Oh, it's not. Yes, it is right there. What? Yes, it is. That's Craig Forth. Hi. Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the force. We got a pretty good crack at the starting lineup here. Team Warwick's going to join us a little later. We're over a thousand people watching on Facebook, guys. So let's have some fun. It should be cool. On my end, it's just uh, just the opening tip right now. So away we go. That's where we have it. We, we rolled it back to there. Okay, great. It was a good first play to start the game. They double team Mello and Craig got a pretty good, easy, good look at inside. Mm -hmm. And one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoops. Hacks long arms in the way of everything. That's obviously a key throughout the game. Coach, we know you, the team and Jerry, for that matter, you guys, you knocked down all these threes in the first half was – did you know going in that that was going to be a possibility? No, I mean, we, we don't think that's what, you know, you take what you get. You know, you take what the defense gives you. Kansas is a good defense. But I think early they focused on Mello, and we were able to get some looks uh, from the perimeter. But, uh, you know, our defense we really stayed back on them and uh, tried to help inside, not let them get up inside. That was really the a key, but uh, you know, to make that, you always hope to do if they're going to give you looks. The thing that helped us early, too, was Heinrich didn't get off to a great start. Right. And he didn't get going until later, really, when they made a push. And early on, we took advantage of the fact that they couldn't, they couldn't beat us from the, you know, from the three. Yeah, the other thing, and although we missed free throws late, they missed a lot of free throws throughout the game. They were pretty consistently bad from the free throw line, which, you know, they're not a bad free throw shooting team. But uh, they did miss Collison really got a really bad. Made his first one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he ended up being something like one for 11 individually, so he's got a, a big streak of, of misses. Yeah. You don't expect that. He's a good shooter. You, can, you don't expect something like that. Yeah. Craig Forth, good to see you, man. Craig's gone into education throughout uh, his professional career, and there's Gary's first. Yeah. Set up, mellow. Set it up. You know, they early. They were focused on mellow. I think they they really were concerned more there. And they didn't have Heinrich on Jerry and switched him later. 
but uh, they just really in, in question it well. But got off to a great start. Yeah. Oops. That's an aggressive foul. We don't get so many of those from huh? <laughs> I like the walk away cue. Don't help them up. <laughs> you see the, the where they destroyed Marquette, 94-61. That was a big concern coming into this game. We knew going into the Texas game by halftime when we were getting at the arena that the game was over. Yeah. They steamrolled Marquette. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Don't <laughs> There's Cliff Dwayne. Here he is. Rim crusher. <laughs> that boy, Cliff. He wasn't that aggressive when he was a freshman, sophomore. He got there. <laughs> it took a while to get there. Huh? <laughs> Coach yelled at him a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, a whole bunch of that. <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that, is that uh, Julia here in the background? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's here. Second <laughs> guessing. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good, Quest. No more Ouch. yelling. Well, she no, right. I keep you in Hi, Craig. Oh, everyone here. Is Craig on mute? I think Craig's on mute. You got him. He's somebody at the fourth household. <laughs> I can't see the game right now, so I'm just kind of flying by what I have in memory, so I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you just fouled Collison. But it's, it's <laughs> well, I can't see him, so I'm just going to picture him in my head. I, I was trading watching, checks with, with Craig. You watch uh, puppy dog pals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that and the Incredibles. That's where we're going yeah. today. Craig had the Incredibles a really, I can live with. He had a really good defensive game this game, as he always did. He was very key down low. I said yeah. Billy Packer was not glowing in his praise, but uh, Craig really made a lot of, of plays. Well, Billy Packer only likes North Carolina anyway, so sorry. <laughs> I haven't heard of him until today, so it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't. He, he didn't give us many compliments. No. In the right position. <laughs> so we're coming up on a TV timeout. We'll work in some other people here at the at the break. We've got a lot of media folks. We got Mark Johnson who uh, did the play by play on the radio back then. We'll uh, we'll work some folks in uh, at the break. Some alums who certainly remember this team fondly. Oh, got a good look there. They missed a lot of pretty good easy shots early. We were a little fortunate there. So now you guys on the TV timeout now? We're not oh. there yet. Almost. We we'll moved ours back, Troy. Okay. 1602. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, 15, okay. 15, 15, All right. So now we're kind of headed to this timeout. And Jerry, especially being a freshman, how uh, calming was this that, you know, all the, the pressure and stress of the, of the Final Four in the championship game, but you got the lead at the first part? That's big. You know, it's almost like an overtime game when you get off early and get off to a good start. It puts you in a pretty positive mindset. You know, I I was so happy that Queth was kind of the guy early that came up. You know, he had been our leader all year, you know, to see him come up so big in such a big moment to have the first half that he did. Um, you know, it kind of put us out in front. He was terrific to start. Um, you know, and again, Heinrich, you see he missed, you know, an easy first one. And then the second one on that flare screen where I got picked off, he missed another easy one. So, you know, we were a little bit fortunate early that a couple good looks from a really terrific player just didn't go. And we kind of capitalized for the rest of the half. Pretty fun. So it's the, the lead, there was a headline that said K Ant. I'm not sure who that is, but let's, let's see if we can welcome in this call from Mello. Big guy. Mello. No. We're just talking about how you get off to a bad start, but you were a little. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm back. 
Just talking about you being bad in the first half, but got got going a little bit in the second half. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Forty years later, <laughs> still the same thing. Same thing. You have to depend on Quest for the first part. What's up, family? How you doing, Mello? Mello, man. Q, what up? <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good, brother. I'm good, man. Yeah, we see you holding us down, man. Keep doing I'm trying, it. Too. I'm trying. Yeah. I hope you're not gaining a lot of weight. You're gonna play again this year, I think. I'm <laughs> <laughs> we active, right? We gotta stay active. We they got us up in the air right now. I know. I know. Is it a place to shoot and everything? I know a lot of the guys don't. I can't shoot. Just we just lifting and running. That's it. No shooting. Okay. Buddy and Jimmy go in the basement. They're down there. I'd make them go down there. I'm punish them. Not everybody has a gym like that. <laughs> <laughs> Best decision I ever made. Absolutely. You did good. Yeah. She made All right, guys. Good. We're back to action here in the game. Five point lead. Mello had done this about a time or two, the 15 footer. He's saving them, saving them for the second half. <laughs> he Mac took over, so he, he took over. I was just, I was just giving you some time, man. I know, I know. You, you let us giving you some time to do what you do. Yeah, that was a good move. Skinny. This team moved the ball and got it to the right people, and the key is everybody can score. The key was Keith Langford getting fouled out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On that charge call later. We'll see. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a big key in this game. The key yeah. was he drew the unfortunate assignment at guard in number 15. <laughs> <laughs> Now he was exhausted after that first half and putting that body on him. <laughs> Op's going to join us a little bit later. Let's bring in, uh, we can bring in Clay McKnight too. Uh oh. Clay was just on the bench. Wow. You know, I heard I, I heard from Weave on that play. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey, people don't know the un the untold story about this whole game. It's Mello can speak on. I wish Brad Pike was on here. Mello's back tightened up and was oh. never himself after like the first 10 minutes of the game. Remember, that was a Texas game. I heard it in the Texas game. Yeah, you heard it in the Texas game. But this game, I remember you came to me and was like, my back, I can't. I was like, I can't. I was like, look, you got to do what you can do out there. And I knew if I would have went to coach and told coach, he looked at me like, I'm crazy. Like, okay, it's bad. He's not coming out of the game, so I wasn't even going to tell coach. I told Brad, and Brad was like, all right, I'll work on him doing timeouts. He had that heat pack on him. Yes. I think it's pretty soon we start. I think Jerry starts hitting threes pretty soon. Yeah, he got hot. Jerry got hot. Yeah, Man, That's tough from the flare. You set a flare screen and then seal the forward. Like, how do you guard it? You know, from the wing position? You had to yeah. pick your poison on that. Yeah, you got to play in between it. Bang bang. Woo. Billy Edelin, who played such a big role off the bench. Here's Jerry. Jerry's first two threes were from Mello because they're, you know, they're worried about him and he's making plays. That's what good players do. Seven we, knew, we knew that was going to be the game plan, too, coming in. We 
got a good Keith Langford story. That summer I went to uh, Jordan, the flight school. Yeah. So I, I get there early. I'm one of the first players there. So I get there. I'm in the dorm room and I take a nap. So a few hours later, the door creaks open and someone's on their phone. It's my roommate. And they open the door and it's Keith Langford. <laughs> and all I, all I heard him say was, hell no, hell no. He was on the phone with some, you know who they got as my roommate? <laughs> Clay. Mm -hmm. Say hi to Clay. Where? Right here. Oh, yeah. Clay McKnight. Hey, Clay, you can say hi to the gang. Let me get Craig back on. We got over 2,000 viewers on Facebook, guys. We're having some fun here. We'll get the other. Uh, How's California, Clay? You all right out there? He can't hear us. He, can hear us. he got his own mute. He's trying. We're there, Clay. Yeah, I can't hear him. Yeah, if people want to. If you're out there watching, we're now we're at 12:32. I know that's that's uh, central control here as well as the Bayheim House and Jerry. So if you want to kind of back up on your your own video, you'll be even more in sync with us. 12:32 right now with a mop up of the floor. Let's get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Billy. Be easy. Billy Eagle. Yeah. There's an underrated player, too. Love this game. Big perm. Big perm. Big perm out there. We close on here because we know what he used to say every block shot. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Is Billy joining on here today? I don't think so. There's one kind of unidentified person here in the uh, the waiting room, so we're kind of we're moving them in as we can. It might, it might be Billy. <laughs> maybe, maybe it is. I knew Mello would ask that. I knew Mello would ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Only Mello would ask that. I see my guy Billy. Yeah, okay. There he is. <laughs> Bill Eagle made more layups than anybody in the program's history except for Stevie Thompson. <laughs> and that nice little floater turnaround spin in the lane. Yeah, that was butter. You yeah. couldn't stop. You couldn't stop that. He got you on your hip. It was a wrap. It yeah. was over with. Yeah, you spin you around and just <laughs> drop it in. Yeah, yeah. Commercial break here on our end. Let's bring in. Uh, Back Mark Johnson. Mark did the radio with us back uh, in the day. He's been at, calling the games in Colorado ever since. Hey, Mark. Hey, man. Good to be on with you. It's so much fun watching the first uh, you know, couple of segments of this ball game. It brings back phenomenal memories. That is the boys. We had a pretty good year here, Mark. Here, here. Good to see you, Coach. Good to see you. Uh, Mello and Jerry and Quest. Uh, good to see all you fellas, man. Uh, Y'all look a little bit older than you did back in 2003, by the way, number one. You know, number two, you know what strikes me as I'm watching this, and you kind of forget about it over the course of 17 years, is, uh, number one, we were always good offensively, but how well we played defensively to start that ball game against a great Kansas team, man. It's, it's, it's bringing back the memories about how good you guys were on defense. We would yeah, definitely this was underrated. You know, we, we had a lot of guys that could play the defense and play it well. A lot of long length and smart guys, smart guys that understood the defense and the rotations. And I don't think, I think the one thing different in the game today is teams have gotten better against zones. They're moving the ball better. There's more screening. There's more different types of offenses than there were back then. Uh, it's, it's, just a, it's just harder. You have to really work at the zone more today than you did uh, back in that time period. You know, Melo, I also forgot what a great passer you were, by the way, huh? A couple of big assists in that first half. That was a, look, that was a game plan. 
I knew they were going to close out on me. <laughs> they always could pass. It's just when they didn't double team him, he's going to score. So, yeah. you know, teams that some huh. teams just decided they're not going to, they're going to not double team and he's going to score a lot of points. And if they do double, you got Queth and Jerry and you got Hakeem Warren too. I mean, you got a lot of guys. It was a difficult team to stop. Um, it probably took us a little while during the year to get to where we needed to, but you have to remember two freshmen, uh, two sophomore starters, and then one, just one senior. So it's going to take a little bit of time. But that season, at the end of the regular season, we went to Michigan State and we went to Notre Dame and won those two road games. That's when you had an idea, okay, we could something could yeah. happen here. Uh, but uh, up until that point, we really hadn't done anything to separate ourselves. You know, Coach, it's interesting you say that. Whenever I get asked about that season, I always bring up that Sunday game at Michigan State, mm -hmm. and, and then I think you were back home with, with West Virginia and then went to Georgetown and won those two. And I remember about that time, being my first year with you guys, I'm thinking, there's something going on here. That, was, that late February area was where I really thought this team started to kind of find itself, didn't it? Yeah, that was really the first time that you thought that, that something could happen. And, uh, you know, I mean, you never know in, in the tournament what happens. But uh, when we did get in the tournament, we were a little fortunate early. We didn't play that well early in the tournament. And we really saved our best games to the Final Four, Texas and Kansas. That's where we played the, the absolute best, which I think is unusual for a young team to get to the you know, I mean, we really struggled even the first game against Manhattan. It yeah. was like a two- or three-point game pretty late. Uh, we're down 17 to Oklahoma State. Um, but when we got to the Final Four, we were a different team. Uh, different offense, different defense. Um, it was a, we're just a, We were just a tough team to play against. And Billy Edlin just went in again there. I mean, Billy and Josh Pace could get their own shot, and that's yeah. you know, as, as could Mello. So when you have guys like that that all can get their own shots, uh, it's pretty difficult. And, again, Kansas, as you watch this game, wasn't making shots early. So we got that separation, and <laughs> on into the game, you're going to see where we needed that. We needed that separation because you knew they were going to come back. They're a really good team. Really good team. Yeah. Well, Mark, awesome to have you, man, and uh, continued success to you, and good luck to the Buffs. All right. Appreciate it. Good to see all you fellas. Mark, before you Mark. take off, you're going to have to call my cell phone. I want you to leave me a voicemail so I can set my alarm <laughs> every morning to you. Get, get you my number from Matt. I'll, I'll do it. Any of you guys need that, give me a call. I'll be happy to do it. <laughs> all right. See you, Mark. Take all right. Take care, fellas. Bye, right, Mark. All right, back to a break here. We just had the stretch. Craig Force back online with us where Billy Packer said all he does is stand there and take up space, and then, Craig, you basically blocked the shot and started a fast break. Well, I was awesome back then, so, uh, you know. <laughs> how's, how's being a school principal going? Is oh, it's good? insane, man. It's insane. What are you doing now? Everything is from home, right? You got all your teachers. I'm the principal at my house. <laughs> Good time. You, you got more control over your school. You may think you're the principal oh, at your house. I used to think that too. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> Ah. I'm getting dinner, but I'm not eating it. I'm just paying for it. <laughs> Sissy, can you get me a drink? Coach Buddy was getting going on the uh, the board games in your household. Sounds like Jimmy's the star, but it's pretty a pretty competitive well, team over there. Jimmy's right. put together two or three puzzles. No, I mean, Buddy. I say Buddy has. Buddy's put together two or three puzzles. But, uh, yeah, Jimmy, he's, he thinks he's good, yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's mostly in there watching TV. Okay. He runs of the office. 
for about the 30th time. Um, a lot of Netflix, a lot of Netflix going on. Uh, tough times. We're going to pop in a couple of CBS guys here. We got uh, Adam Shine from New York. Hey, guys. Yeah, well, there's a guy that can talk. Let's go. <laughs> How are you, Coach? What's going on? Hey, no, I'm here. from uh, Albany in New York. <laughs> what are you talking about on air now? Jeez. Everything. A lot of NFL. <laughs> you were great when you came on uh, a couple weeks ago. Have you watched any of the, the Office episodes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm forced to. They have mine almost 10 hours a day here. <laughs> it was a great show, wasn't it? It grows on you. It does. It grows on you. Took, okay. I told you you'd like that. It took a while, but it had, it, it's grown on me. That's what people in Scranton do. <laughs> See? Jerry was ahead of the curve on that. He was on the bob on the desk, the yeah, Jerry McNamara bobblehead. <laughs> Andrew, you've been uh, calling March Madness games the last few years, and this could be one of your inspirations. I'm huh? pretty fun drama here. And Matt, That's thank thanks for sending this up, Matt. This is awesome. This is really cool just to relive this. I wasn't at CBS when uh, when this game was going on. I was just wow. two years out of college, but uh, this is really cool and uh, definitely a lot of fun. Good to have you with us, Andrew. How you doing? Good seeing you, Coach. Yeah, hanging in there. Thanks. Yeah, we're just talking. We got off to a great start. And I really thought in the first half we had a chance to really go. I mean, to even they just weren't doing anything. And we had it going, and we missed a couple shots. And I don't know. We just we really had a chance. I mean, we we're obviously in good position. But it, it, it might have even been more than halftime. What about the crowd, Coach? Did you feel that behind you the whole time? Yeah, I mean, we were lucky during the tournament to go to, to Boston the first round. The crowd reaction was unbelievable in Boston. I, I mean, I don't know what you guys thought about it, but it was like a home. It was like the Carrier Dome in Boston and in Albany. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was incredible, the fans and the support that we had in both places. Would you do you see that Melo, the support we had in those places? Hey, what up? Man, I'm trying to get this damn microphone thing to work. <laughs> I think I got it down. Play McKnight, the only guy. You know, I was thinking time. about that wall in the office that took <laughs> me about 36 hours to make. They don't know about that. That was classic. <laughs> a couple, a couple of decent nights at the office. We must have pictures of that someplace. I know, we, I know, we must have. Clay's mm -hmm. the only guy that would come to practice in shorts and a t-shirt in the middle of the, <laughs> middle of the winter. He was lying to himself about the, the first. Match. The first four minutes is metal. After that, you freeze your ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the mental part. You never had that part. Anyway, so. I still, Clay, what was the move? You, you the, the the show it, drag it. <laughs> oh, Sean, Sean fake side step. Yeah, that's just that, I remember that. Sean fake side step. Yeah. Just let him fly right by, right? Absolutely. Buddy got that one. He's working on that one. Yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy's got that. Oh, Kansas is in zone here a little bit. That's a mistake. Jerry hits it right off the right away. <laughs> they tried it one possession. That was good. We got right out. They to get what do you think in this situation with a pretty comfortable lead in the first half of the of the championship? That again? I was just wondering what what any of you felt, but especially Mello, just especially if you knew you were only going to play maybe one year of college ball, you got a 12-point lead in the first half of the national championship game. Is Mello heating up, too? I wasn't, I wasn't planning on leaving. Yeah. Until <laughs> you won the game. Until we won. <laughs> yeah. We didn't talk very much after that. Kicked me out and told me to pack my shit and leave. That's what you told me. 
<laughs> told me that throughout my career too, but I never listened. <laughs> I think I told Cliff that a couple times. Yeah, I, I heard that every year. <laughs> no, not you. I was nice. I was nice to you. Yeah. Pride of Watertown is here. Matt Gorman. Hello, Matt. Hey, Maddie. Hey. Hey, uh, Matt Gorman. There he goes. Wow, Matt. How you doing? Matt, what up? Maddie's speechless. He's not talking. <laughs> the number 24 back there. <laughs> Matt, you hear us? The, uh, the video. Um, Coach, we got some fan questions coming in. Somebody asked, where'd you go for takeout tonight? Tonight, we actually, we're going, to go, we're going to go to possibilities, but we went to uh, a new steakhouse, Stone, Stone Steakhouse. We're running out of options here after 20 seconds. Hey, is this the uh, Joe Exotic Animal Theme Park chair? <laughs> am, I the, am I in the right place? Yeah. <laughs> Maddie, more, Maddie, there you go. More. You'd I'm be sorry. the one, Matt. Everybody's breaking up now, Matt. We're gone. <laughs> Still around. Buddy, something's wrong right. with us. Matt, Matt, I saw a video of you last night from 2007. I can send it privately off air. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't let that leak. Oh, it's going to come to you right now. <laughs> yeah. I brought Pete Thamel in, national sports writer and alum kind of around this time. Hey, Pete. Matt, good to see everybody. Oh, we got, we got too many media guys on. Yeah, we're going to bounce them out here in a minute. <laughs> Let me ask Troy and, uh, and Jim a question. Uh, I wasn't the beat writer this season. I, I left already, but I was the season before, and I, I covered a lot of these guys' recruitment, so kind of seeing them pop up tonight, especially the, the younger guys, you know, brought back some memories of that. I was just wondering if, if Troy or, or Jim or any of you guys just had any 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 memorable recruiting stories from kind of what, what drew you up here because that class really, you know, Surge Syracuse's momentum forward as a program. I remember Troy telling me, you know, I didn't go out during the season too much, and he said, "You need to take a day off. You got to go down to Baltimore and see this kid, Carmelo Anthony." I said, "At the time, I think Melo was only rated about forty or something. I think maybe." And Troy said, "No, no, this, this is this is the guy." He, and he and, he, and I just hesitating back and forth, and then he said, "Well." we can win a national championship if we get this guy. And so I said, okay. So we fly down, we go to the game, <laughs> and uh, the game starts, Melo hits a three, second play down, pull up, third play dump. And I go, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Might be able to help a national championship. Three, three plays, I swear. That's the three plays that happened. And there's not many guys that have played basketball that can play three plays. And uh, the rest is history. He, the thing with Melo, he always wanted to come. He never, he's people, he moved up in the recruiting ranks. Um, you know, he never said anything about going someplace else, visiting North Carolina or Duke, all the other schools. He said, no, I like Syracuse. And I said, okay. You know, that was it. And then, he, you know, went to Oak Hill, got better, obviously. Uh, you know, he was a little thin his junior year. He's probably about 190. And if, I think the year at Oak Hill, I think you must have been about 220 when you came out Oak Hill. And, you know, I mean, you knew right then, you know, it's, this is a one-year guy. And uh, we just got to get the most out of this one year. And we are fortunate that we had all these other guys and Jerry and, and Mello come in. We're very fortunate. What do you say, Troy? Well, well, the <clears throat> I knew that we had the right blend of, of players, um, and we just needed, you know, a horse. And Mello was that. But the uh, Pete, you talking about rec uh, stories about the class? It was so much pressure just from Mello and myself being from the area of Maryland. People don't, Maryland had just won a championship. 
Mm -hmm. And so people were really on Melo's back about, like, you going to Syracuse, Maryland just won a championship. And uh, I remember he, we were on his porch and uh, he was like, I trust you guys. I'm coming there. Let's get it done. And I just felt right then and there that uh, we had a shot. And then um, I'm in, I've been in the NBA for 15 years, so the compliance people <laughs> uh, <laughs> always around. But I remember the guys were playing pickup in the fall. Jerry can attest to this. Quest and uh, they were playing up in the um, Archibald. Is Archibald, is that where you guys used to play? Is that it? Archibald or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I went up there looking for uh, someone to make sure they were going to class and I saw all the guys in there. And I looked and I'm looking for the player and I saw the guys hooping and uh, my, my tenure there at Syracuse, I'd never seen that much talent. And after I found the player that I was looking for, for class, I said, we got a chance to win it. So um, for me, just seeing Hakeem, Mello, Queth, Jerry, Billy, everybody in there together in one gym, I, I felt like we had a chance from there. Troy, let, let me ask you about Josh Pace, because he's a guy who, when you got him, was was not well thought of. And Josh Pace is my probably – I love Josh Pace's game as much as any Syracuse player I ever got to cover, just because he knew exactly who he was and was just so crafty and it had such quick hands defensively. But he, he was a guy who was kind of like – in AAU, it wasn't like he was you know scoring 28 a game. He was almost a glue guy before he arrived. Walk me through that evaluation, Troy, because I always found that fascinating – that that you sort of saw what he would become. Well, no, he he was a big score. Okay. He oh, could, really? Right. He, yeah, he was he was a big score. He actually broke a lot of scoring records down in Georgia. But he, I did see the glue guy, uh, especially with our team. But the coach, like, I recruited the crap out of this guy. But coach can see. Coach had to get it done. In the home visit, the mom was crying. Oh my she God. didn't want him to leave Georgia. <laughs> she didn't want him to leave Georgia. She was crying, and Coach made her feel. June Pace, Coach told her, I'm going to take care of your son. Um, but I just knew his size and versatility. Um, Coach had had guys like him before that were really versatile, that could play different spots on the floor. And uh, he just had – he was just one of those guys – that if you had a good team, he could really take your team over the top because he did all the little things. But um, it was funny, his his shooting changed from high school to college. He, he, he didn't shoot that. I don't know if he got a hitch in his wrist or something, but he had a smoother, smoke, smoother stroke in high school, and then he got a little hitch. But he, he, he was a tremendous, tremendous team guy. Well, you know, he was a lot like Stevie Thompson. He really was. Stevie was more explosive. Left handed guys got to the lane, got to the basket. And I remember me and both mothers were crying. Both Stevie and guys. You know, they didn't want their son Stevie 3,000 miles. And she's crying. And, and I don't want him to go. And, and I'm like, well, we're not going to get this kid. And Steve, and his mother's run a lot of the shows in a lot of families. I know in our house anyway. And, uh, <laughs> and I know in Mellow. So, I mean, it's like the mother's going to. And Steve just looked at his mother and said, well, I'm going. <laughs> it's like, that. you know, before the visit. No, nothing. He said, I'm going to Syracuse. And I remember Mrs. Pace said, I to go outside. We went outside on the porch if you remember Pace. And she says, you know, I just don't want it, but you, you've got to take care of my son. I said, I'm going to take care of your son. And, uh, he's going to take care of us. And those two guys played a lot alike. They never said boo. They, they never said anything about getting the ball or doing this or run this play for me or you know, nothing. It was just, we're going to, we're going to go out there and play. 
Yeah, Josh Pace was big in the second half against Kansas. He, he I think he had six or seven rebounds and six or seven points, and he, he made some big plays. But that's what it takes to win championships. You got to have the guy that can get it done, but you got to have guys around him that are really good. And uh, that was really the first time in college basketball where a freshman led guy team won a national championship. It's not that unusual today, but at that time, that was pretty unusual. Troy, do you remember the order in which the guys committed in that class? I was trying to think of this today. Was was Billy first, then Craig? That because Hack was late because you didn't get Hodge, if I remember that right. Right. Um, what, what, how did how did the dominoes fall? Do you remember, Troy? Yes, it was Billy, Craig. No, Billy, Josh, Craig, and then Hakeem was last. Yeah, we weren't smart enough to take Hakeem. We we tried to hold him off, <laughs> and like. I think finally one day, I think at the end, we just said, let's just take this guy. <laughs> sometimes you get lucky in recruiting, and sometimes, sometimes you don't get it, but sometimes you do. <laughs> oh, Hakeem was 6'8", 180, 170 maybe. So he wasn't, you know, everybody's worried about him, but uh, it never bothered him. He made plays. He was able to make plays, and was his weight never factored in that much really thank pete thamel for joining us good stuff there coming up on the end of the first half here guys what was the key to trying to maintain this lead you're up double digits in the first half and uh really important two three minutes here they turned the intensity up yeah. Like they started, started banging us around and physical. They slowed the game down, getting to the line. And we had we had to make our job. Well, we had hit 16 and then we kind of let it get back. And now they were starting to get it going and starting to make plays. And, you know, and, but you knew they were going to do. They are going to come back. They were, they were too good a team. Too many veterans, seniors, juniors. And really, after we had that run, the rest of this game for us was a grinded-out game. We weren't we were making yeah. a lot. You got to think, we haven't had a grind-out game. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, Manhattan was a, you know, we had to lock that down. Uh, Oklahoma State, that was, a, that was a tough one for us. That was, that that was 17. Was, yeah, so we had to grind that out, but... We, we we didn't have to grind like this. No. You know, Oklahoma was the only team that we thought that was going to give us the problems. We got them out the way. Yeah. Texas, Texas too, we got them out the way. But this was, this second half, they, they, they slowed it down. The game got physical, and they made us really run our offense. It was very hard to score in the second half against this team. Very hard. I don't know game. how many threes we made, but we didn't make many threes in the second half. I think that's Jerry's last one right there. That gave us a little separation. That was a big shot. Jeremy McNeil made some really good plays, and Craig really did some good work inside against Collison and Graves. They're good players. <laughs> there's a couple strange plays there's a there's a charge that jerry takes it's probably a good call in your favor and then there's a crazy intentional foul called on mellow coming up here clean yeah that was i don't see that at all it was clean 
I don't I didn't remember that one. I do that was a momentum changer right there going into half. Yeah, that yeah, you actually try to help him down. Yeah, I don't know. It's not a malicious play. No. Hey, thank you, G Mac. You're welcome. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going for the ball. Yeah. This is the big one right here. Seventeen years? Does it feel like seventeen years? I don't know. I don't think no, so. Not at all. <laughs> Yeah, the last three weeks does. <laughs> the last oh, yeah. three weeks feels like about ten, <laughs> ten years. Not this game. Yeah, time flies, man. Wow, this is my first time watching the game in full. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't know if I've ever watched it. I've never I, watched I, the game. I've, I've, watched, I've watched it maybe once or twice. Yeah, but I haven't watched it in over ten years. Yeah, yeah, this is. You see things you forgot every yeah. time you watch it. Yeah. 2,700 people. I think what was special is since I guess I was the only guy that played a couple of years in all the different teams, this team had like different looks. You know, we could play, you know, with the ball movement. And like Jerry and I would spread out the court, you know, it, it make threes and, and make teams come out. And when they started coming out and getting tighter, then you put in a guy like Josh Pace and Billy, who start breaking guys down and feeding Mello. Um, then Hakeem just we we in my four years there playing, we never had that ability to mix it up. Once guys figured out how we played, we couldn't switch it up. This team yeah. could switch up at any time um, to a grind out style play, or we could spread you out, you know, and. Uh, it was just very different. So I think Kansas figured it out, but it took them a while to get going. In the second half, Billy and Josh picked it up, you know, and, and they figured out Jerry and I spread out wide. So, and then Melo got going as well. And then, it's just a uh, That was the big thing. Those three guys just, you guys got the first half and those three guys got the second. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things, too, if you go back and watch us play, whenever we had a lead, especially whether it be in the end of the first half, but particularly late in the game in the second half, that that team was, like, incredible at being able to burn 25 seconds. You know what I mean? And still get, like, an incredible shot. Yeah. You know, like, hack with flash and – everything else would be pinched off and he'd have a one dribble all the way to the rim. We saw it in the Texas game, you know, Oklahoma state end of the game, you could hold it and you get a late look or it's, you hold it for 24 seconds and then it's like, Oh, 53, here you go, Mello, go to work. You know what I mean? We just, we, we, we were able to share the basketball and create enough time to create enough space to still get a quality look, even when you were trying to burn clock. Yeah. Don't forget, we were 10 for 13 from the three-point line in the first hit. Doesn't you're hurt. Gonna, you're going to beat a lot of people if you can do that. That's, Doesn't hurt. I don't know. Eric Jerry came out hot, and then Q picked up toward in the, in the second in the second half of the first half. Yeah. He, you know, he had a he had a quick 10 points. So that you know, you you had that. You had Josh Pace coming off the bench, Billy. Throughout the whole season, we always played in waves, though. So you never know when it, when it was going to come. We, we would be there. You could be up two. You look up. You down eight. You know, you just never knew where it was coming from. And then once, the, the big key was, once once Craig started feeling comfortable about what he was capable of doing, that changed the whole thing. Well, the other thing with Craig is how many times, Jerry, did you get a screen from Craig Forth that got you a three? I mean. Well, he was huge. And, and anytime we did double fist where we had the – we had the, the the wings pinched down to the corners, and we were trying to elevate the bigs. He never left. 
So, you know, typically if we're running double fist now, we'll run some action off of it. But back then he would stay with me. So even if the four man dove out of there, now Craig would stay with me and I could just keep using him until they made a mistake. And then I could play behind them. And if they took that angle, then I'd have a straight line drive. He was just a huge body that understood how to, you know, great screener. Screening, screening is really great. Screening is not appreciated, and it's really what makes plays. It's what makes get guys threes, open looks, and that's what it takes. Three, three years I had that. Uh, three years I had him to use. He was huge for my success. We had uh, John Wildhack on, guys, just to say a quick hello. Hey, John. Hey guys. Hello. John, how you doing? Good. Hey, thanks all you guys for doing this. Mellow, Keth, Mac, G Mac, thanks. Craig Forth. No other school in the country could do this. No other school could come close. This is all about Q's law. Q's law. Well, we all don't have anything else to do anyway. So what are we <laughs> It's either this or put together a puzzle. I'm not very good at that, so we're going to be... We've done enough puzzles. Yeah. Anymore. I don't want to see another puzzle. Ever. I only watched Tiger Cat so many times, Coach. <laughs> I don't... That's the one I don't watch, but I've watched most everything else on that. <laughs> and he lost at Yahtzee the other night, so he's done with all that stuff, too. Yeah, I had to quit playing that. <laughs> I lost. Well, the second half going now, so we now get... See how they work their way back in here. John, thanks for coming on. Enjoy the rest, okay? Thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks, John. Good luck. Coach Hopkins, <laughs> look who's here. I had good hair back then. <laughs> what is it? You got you got less than I got. That's what, hap that's what happens. What happened to the finger lake? <laughs> what? Remember you used to say I have a finger lake on my head? I have. Oh, I have the whole. I've lost a lot of the Atlantic seaboard right up there. You know, I'm a lot right. of it. <laughs> Welcome. I kind of, yeah, I love it. I love it. Goodness, look at how. Wow. <laughs> Who was that, Quetwaini? Quetwaini, yeah. right there. Oh, my lordy, Bagordi. You made a few shots, Quet, in the first half. He said I yelled at him a lot. I don't remember that. Do you? Oh my no. god! <laughs> Ever. Out of my, out of my head. Like sometimes I just hear him screaming. You know. What's up, Quet? You look good, buddy. Thank you. You look great too. Oh, you're being too damn kind, man. I'm losing all my hair. I'm losing my mind. I got more hair than you now. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> That's what coaching does. You lose your mind. <laughs> if you had one. <laughs> if you had one. Good to see you. Huh? This, break, this break could have been good for y'all right now, huh? This could have been a positive for you guys. Who was that? <laughs> now, hello. Oh. Oh my God! <laughs> Be careful in the Pacific Northwest, there, buddy. <laughs> you know, there's nothing going on with Mellows here because he's got something going on 24 hours a day. This, you no, know we're in quarantine now. <laughs> I just want to know if he's in Portland or if he's in, in New York. I'm in Portland. Oh, you are? Yeah, I'm in Portland. Wow. I want to know how the how the vino was in Oregon. Incredible. Incredible. Mm. How the what is in Oregon? The wine. The wine. <laughs> he I took a it. wine trip. I you saw it on the internet. Never choose Washington game next year. We can't play. We're family. We can't play. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I learned from Coach a long time. Never go out and play West, and I've learned now never go out and play East. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I've gone out east, we've just got our balls kicked in. Excuse my friend. <laughs> and then, and then you got to come back, and then you got to play. And you, you know, it's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> so funny. It's like so when we funny. went to UCLA that time and just got killed. Remember that one? Oh. <laughs> but we did do good though the first year when we went to play Arizona at Arizona. That was, that was an exception. 
won 45 straight games. Yeah. That was we whacked them. John Wallace and Otis Hill. <laughs> they had Jason Terry, uh, Miles Simon. They were loaded. Mello, how are you loving it out there, buddy? It's good. It's real good. Real good. I actually like it a lot. Yeah, it's nice that you have two other guys take all the shots, and you just have to take a few. You know I, I've been waiting for that for a long time. <laughs> hey, Mello, uh, did you see the one in the first half when, when uh, I don't know what happened, and Coach goes over to you. It's a vintage Coach Band. He goes, Mello, pass it. Just pass yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> he went like this. Just, I was just looking at my son just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were just, just going to lift up right over my man. Angles. <laughs> Whoa, can't guard it. <laughs> I guard it. And then McNamara was on some insane stuff. Something. He was on something. You put a bat. I remember you put a battery in his back before that game. I remember that. <laughs> what, what happened at halftime? What happened? Did he turn him off at halftime? I don't remember that. He just he lost the juice. I didn't realize I had I had a lot of good looks. I had two two good looks already. I didn't think you did. I didn't. I, I, I've computer brained my mind over these years. Like you didn't get any good ones in the second half. I didn't. <laughs> I had two in like the first minute and a half, wide open. Does Craig get a? Does is Craig fourth on this? Did he get the dunk late and he got he has the look up in the sky? Does he he gets a late dunk in this game? Yeah. Doesn't he? Yeah, yes. big time dunk. Yeah, big time. It was a big play. Yeah, a huge crap. Regular that season, was a, he wasn't yeah. good though. After that, regular season, Craig was laying that up. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing he dunked it because Collison came right down. Yeah, he, Craig turned it on in the tournament, man. This quarantine thing is starting to make me crazy. Start the quarantine? Yeah, you've yeah. been crazy. Did you yeah. have, have yeah. four kids at home, like <laughs> under. Yeah. Oh, you talking about my house? <laughs> Hop, what are your oh. recollections of this game in particular? Oh my gosh, I don't know any any. You know, this is the first time I've ever watched it uh, from the beginning uh, to now, and uh, I just remember. Uh, you know, the guys being loose and confident. And I remember coach going over the biggest thing in this guys in this game is going to be transition defense. And I'll always remember from the beginning of the game, they were trying to run it down their throat and they couldn't get anything. I mean, it was our best transition defense of the, of the year. It was awesome. And, uh, and then seeing them come back at the end. Oh, look at that. We went small. Didn't we coach in this? Did you go small? Yeah, I think we Late. went with Billy, Josh, Jerry, um, a little bit. Large. Then we were near at the end, we, we made it. We're behind you. We're at 55-51 right now. Okay. You're probably ahead of us. We set our screen back a little bit. Yeah. But they got back in it. When it got back, I think sometimes you forget – after just three minutes in the second half, we're only up four. I mean, that's after having a six, 17 point lead, and now it's down to three at 17 minutes. So they got the whole half to go. Mike Tarico is joining. Mikey. Hello, Jim and Billy. Hello, guys. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> you? Got the whole gang here. Oh, we got our gang too. We're all watching. We've got Deb. Cheers. Hey, Deb. Hi. Hi, Julie. We got our kids. Hello, hello, Mellow. Hello, Hop. It's good to see everybody. What's up, Mikey? Hello, Hop. There's a hooper, there's a hooper right next to you. That's right. I got the family point guard here for sure. Hey, Jerry Mack. How you doing, pal? Mike, how are you? How you guys doing? It is awesome to see everybody. This has been a great, great week to uh, all get together and all reminisce because the cool part is every day, every day on Instagram, you know what comes up? Another tournament memory of a Syracuse win, which is so awesome, which uh, reminds us how awesome Coach Beheim and everybody else has been and what a big part of our lives all of you all have been. So it's been a fun, uh, something fun in this tough time. So this is great. Great to see everybody. Well, you forget how many games there were. I mean, you know, obviously there's going to be a lot, but there's more games, I think, 
than you really even thought there was when you start to look back on them. And, uh, you know, I, I watching this game, I forget a little bit how close it got right away in the second half. So it wasn't like we it kept that extended lead. We had to go back and get it again. I was really worried about this game because this year I couldn't make the Saturday game. It was the first one of the final fours. I didn't make the Saturday game. But I knew you were money in the Saturday games in the tournament. <laughs> so we got there. We got there on Monday, and I will post later on social media. We've got a great picture of Coach Beheim with us uh, at Bur on Bourbon Street on about Bourbon three o'clock in the morning. Absolutely, it's one of my all-time one of my yep. all-time favorites. This is uh, our roommates and a whole bunch of guys from uh, this new house mafia. We have uh, collected our memories of this and tweeted out. What a good time we had. And, uh, Coach, we really owe you all thank you and all the players who are on because uh, the memories of our Syracuse days are really these games and these events. So thank you so much for all all these good times, all these 40-plus years. And you still look you still look pretty damn good, too. Yeah, well, I'm, I got made up for this, so I'm a little... Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, not really. But, uh, you know, my good... We have all these players and have these guys all here tonight on this game. Um, and have Hop back here, uh, you know Troy and Hop, uh, you know Jerry and, and Adrian have done such a great job recruiting for us. And you, you win. I told some coaches at a, the first meeting of the Big East when young coaches would come in. I'd say they ask me what you do. I said, well. You better get some players. If you get some players, you'll have a chance. If you don't get some players, you won't be here in a couple of years. But uh, that's what it takes. And uh, I've been very fortunate to have coaches who played here and understand the school and be able to go out and get good players to come here. And uh, I just was mad at Troy Weaver because if he hadn't left the next year, we would have gotten Kevin Durant here. <laughs> Weave! Look at Weave! Remember that, Weave? Yeah. 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 I told Kevin yeah. that in the airport when I come this year, I saw him. Yeah, for sure. Troy, every time we'd see each other when you were doing the NBA thing and I was doing the NBA thing and we cross paths in Oklahoma City a lot, like a lot, yes. five, eight, ten times a year, Utah, Oak City. What's it? Hello, yeah. how are you? How are things going? And then we talk Q's basketball, right? For sure. For sure. That was a commonality. All right, uh, checking on each other. There. Then we talk about Hack the Q's. Hack attack. Hack is that? The man is, that man is quarantined right now. Look at Patty Gorman. I think Hack is on mute there. <laughs> this is about the time he showed up in the game. <laughs> <laughs> he showed up there. My mind is just cut on when you said that, Lee. <laughs> he, he blocked he that foul, Lee, because he missed the two free throws right before that. Yeah, I might. He missed the first half. I, I might lose half. connection around that time. <laughs> <laughs> Akeem had some had some technical difficulties. I had to uh, <laughs> uh, my my daughter took over. She watched Frozen, so I gotta watch it on my phone. <laughs> oh, I gotta be I gotta be here with me right now. <laughs> well, just like go three, your timing is right on, man. You, you, you've arrived at the right time. Yeah, I know. I timed it that way. <laughs> you know, the funny thing about that play we, we're, we're still a long ways from it but you hadn't played center that much that yeah. year. and to get to go get to the corner is not that easy and uh I, I'm, I'm a little surprised even that you were able to get there i mean to, to see the play develop a little bit yeah yeah i, I, I didn't i didn't plan on getting out there to block it. I was just trying to at least just get a hand up. And, like, the closer I got, I saw that I might actually have a chance to block it. And uh, then after that, I just tried to turn my body so I didn't follow. Well, I think what happened, I think Quest made a mistake and went up on defense. When he no, yeah, I saw, I saw Quest. I saw Quest was out the play. 
<laughs> I knew he wasn't coming back. <laughs> I was never out of the play. And Kirk Heinrich flared over there. He had an open look. Yes, no, he did. He did. But he you definitely wasn't high getting high to that corner. Where do you want the other guy? So I said, let's not give Heinrich a look. So, <laughs> that's what I meant, but I was covering Jerry's ass. That's true. <laughs> Jerry can scream. Jerry, you're a goat. I don't know. No, no, no. That was the play before. You took me out because the Heinrich, they, they <laughs> still do it. They scream from the big and they loop the opposite wing up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And Heinrich took the three, and it, it I don't know how it didn't go in. No, that was, yeah. It that, rattled that, about. Billy was in there that day. Yeah. yeah. Might have been Billy, so somebody. Damn, Q, why you got to throw me out there like that? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was covering somebody's ass, dude. It's a celebration. Fourteen's <laughs> <laughs> 50, and we're only up three. So. Anybody remember the key play of this game? Josh Pace to Mello. That's right. That's right. I That's a big time play. I think that was a little bit later. I think it's a little bit later. I'm not sure. Oh. You got Dave McMenamin, guys, to uh, join us from ESPN for a minute. Hey, Dave. Hey, what's up, fellas? Great yeah, guy. What, what are we playing here? What's uh oh? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Dave is Break some news, Davey Mac. Oh, damn it, Dave. <laughs> What, Mello, what do you got from you? Know what I'm doing right now? I'm ranking the best looking jerseys of all time in the NBA. That's that's the type of work I have to do. Jay <laughs> What's up, fellas? Mello, Mello's 15 road in orange and blue. Start there and go after that. I like well, that. I like that. I, I actually have the uh, the Nuggets uh, script alternative oh, jersey on there. That, that dark blue one with the yellow script nuggets. I yes. thought, okay. okay. Solid one. But, uh, nah, man, coach, I wish I had an answer for you. I, I'm just hoping we get something back. But, uh, I well, think uh, it's stronger than basketball, the force that's, uh, going against us right now. Presence. Okay. Hack, hack, way to show up, hack. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, you know the crazy thing is, I because I, I told you I'm watching on my phone, and my sister just called. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm just curious as as the guy as the TV nerd, how many of you guys have watched this game back, start to finish, before? First time. Not all. I've watched a lot of. I them. <laughs> Not all. Really? Uh, First time. It's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Hop, have you seen it start to finish? This is the first time. You know, I've watched pieces and parts or highlights, but this is the first time. Wow. G Mac, how about you, man? Maybe second time wow. start to finish ever. That's crazy. You, Mike, some things, you know, usually, you know, coaches' mindsets are when it's the last game of the year and you win it, it was a masterpiece. <laughs> Everything else is not perfect, but this, you know, the way I've looked at this over the years. This year, we won the last game of the year, so we must be the masterpiece. <laughs> and Coach hey. Josh Pace. Where's Josh Pace? Coach. Josh just got promoted at uh, Western New Mexico State. Congratulations, Josh, and welcome. Yes, sir. Congrats, man. Coach, way to go, coach. I don't think he turned his audio on. Can't got figure this. his audio. He's still trying to figure out. I thought he's, I was, a head, uh, he's a head coach. He needs an assistant to do everything for him now. <laughs> you know, you got that right. <laughs> you can't find the arena by ourselves. <laughs> Bottom left, JP, unmute. When he's back is. in uh, math class. <laughs> okay, That's I, one I, hear, I hear everybody now. How y'all doing? <laughs> Coach Pace, you congratulations. Like you got to get some Thank blenders you. in there. Coach, I'm just now coming up for air. This week been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just now coming up for air. Like, we have to call you Coach Pace now, huh? Man, it's, I'm just now coming up from air this first week, boy. It's, boy, I don't know. 
first week is not easy. My first week, I, I had to get the job. I hired Rick Patino on Sunday and got Roosevelt Bowie and Lewis Orr the next week. So what if you got how they feel like What up, G-Mac? Hey, <laughs> my man. Congrats, man. That's awesome. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Happy for you, man. They got me out here. They got they got me out here in the middle of nowhere, though. <laughs> It's like, it's just like Griffin. Hey, Griffin's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> You're right. You're right, man. You're right, man. You're right. Hey, Coach, I don't appreciate you telling that story, man. I got to tell my mom you told that story about her crying, man. I know. No, it's a true it's story. True. It's true. It's true. 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 No, y'all, y'all definitely, y'all definitely, um, grew me into a man quickly. You, you and Coach Weed came out one year, and then Coach Hop and Clay came out one year. Y'all, man, my mom, she wasn't with it, but y'all, y'all, y'all made her realize that that was the right situation for me. But you and Stevie Thompson are the only two mothers that cried when I came on the visit. <laughs> she was, she was boo hooing too. Two left handed. <laughs> How you doing? She went yeah, she went boo in that cried. championship. Oh, no, nah, she was, she, yeah, that woke her up right there. <laughs> I said, I told you, Miss Pace, she was going to take care of him. She said, you right. <laughs> <laughs> Melo's mother, same thing. I told you, Miss Anthony, you going to take care of him. She said, you right. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was right. <laughs> hey, coach, hey, coach, in New Orleans, I was right on everything. Everybody's prayer is like you right. Queen War telling hot you right. Jerry's father, you right, coach. He was right that night. We don't have the ones that said you're wrong. Is that money Q? Money Q, what's up? Good, Josh. Good, man. What's up, my man? Good to now see you. To, good to see you too, bro. I'm trying to be like you. Nah, nah, you, you did it better than any of us, man. Congrats, <laughs> Coach Pace. My man. My man. Yeah. Hey, Melo. <clears throat> hey, remember uh, we we're, were at University of New Orleans the night, the, the day before the game, and Coach Weaver took me aside. He was like, "I don't care. Just beat beat him before this game." <laughs> like. <laughs> Coach Weaver took me aside. You got one. You got one job. Carmelo's <laughs> life is really hell today. <laughs> I was just, I was just hacking every day. Yeah, Akeem knows it too. He was, he, was he got in on it too. <laughs> I was generous. And when didn't you hack people? Six o'clock workout. Six o'clock workout. Hack you. You remember that? <laughs> no, I, no, I was just, yeah. I just yeah, had a school morning, school morning the other day. Early morning, oh, my dad. A.M. Waking yeah. up six, six in the morning. Sun not up. Yeah, I had to pick y'all up, man. Negative twenty yeah, outside. Man, 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 man. <laughs> it was the worst. Hey, P, you remember Hop chasing us down the hallway? <laughs> <laughs> I never did that. <laughs> it's a violation. For the seat hall game after practice. Storming into the locker room. I'll never forget that. Violation. <laughs> Grab the first chair you can see. Billy Violation. <laughs> Hop, hey, I I'm going to go. You, though. Hop, remember we, uh, we were practicing before the Big East tournament, so before we were seated, and you told myself, maybe Jerry, some of the other people in the guard groups, that if we get the number three seed, we're winning the F national championship. You called it. You called your shot. Yeah, I called it. All right. <laughs> hey, you know the best one? Hey, we, do you remember Do you remember when we would play three-on-three -three guards versus forwards? <laughs> yeah. 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 I think For we sure. won a lot. You might you might have got one you might have got one win. Billy, huh? Billy, yeah, Billy, huh? Hey, hey. You might have got we one. Got, you might have got Billy one. Got in, Billy got into uh Hakeem. He couldn't score. Then JP <laughs> just shut down. Mac just I mean, 
it was a it was a it was a walk away home run. It's not true. It's the only way. The only way the guys can win this is you cheat. He might have got one win. Yeah, well, we even hot. We even hot might have got one win. I didn't say Everybody how he got did. one. Win. I just <laughs> <laughs> we definitely was a cheater though. Straight up. Huh? Straight up. <laughs> we we was definitely a cheater. All day long. <laughs> You're back straight, to straight up. Oh, Josh Page. No, sir. <laughs> T Mac is now. We, we, we was definitely the old we head that always talked about. We yeah. was definitely a cheater. <laughs> no, no. With that old school jumper. <laughs> Me and Hop was getting y'all ready for the Big East physical play. That's right. That's right. Physical, Hop, we was physical with him. <laughs> That's right. Weave, well, how you doing with these coronavirus rules? You're not allowed to touch your face. We know that you're always like <laughs> touching your face like that, man. That's going to be tough for you. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. <laughs> but you know when you when you isolate it, it really doesn't matter. So I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna hop off so I can enjoy watching the uh, watching the magic moment. I, my poor son. I was showing him the championship game. Uh, there's a shot of Julie holding one of the boys, and I texted the Bayheims when we were watching two weeks ago. I said, "Hey, Julie, is that Jimmy or Buddy?" Julie, I'll let you tell the punchline of the story. Wait, I can't remember. You said it was it was Jimmy because Jim wouldn't let the twins come to the game. Oh, yeah, That's right. they were two years yeah. old. Jim said we would have lost if they had come. <laughs> it was so disruptive. Uh, and, 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 my, and my poor son, as we were reliving the game a couple of weeks ago off of YouTube, I showed him Akeem's block about seven times. Like, wait, wait, you have to understand. Look at where Hakeem starts. Like, he is in the middle. He's not, like, on the edge of the lane. He's in the middle of the lane. Like, this is physically impossible. It's the greatest block shot in the history of sports. And I'm sticking to that, darn it. So thanks, Hack. Thanks for that. And thank you all, you guys, seriously, for this is, like, what Q's family is all about, that everybody shows up for this. Mello, GMAC, everybody, Mike, Gorman. It's awesome, guys. So here, cheers to the Q's family. Hey, stay safe, everybody. We love you all. We'll see you back in the Dome. We'll uh, raise another glass to Coach Beheim and to Julie and to everybody for everything you all do. <laughs> Got to tell you, every time Buddy shoots a three, whole Orange family is right there with you, Julie. Um, we love you guys. And uh, please stay safe. We'll see you down the road, all right? Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Mike. Coach Hop, go Washington. Thanks, we got Mike. you. You're our West Coast team. You know Let's that, Let's go, boy. Dude, that's fingers. it. I can't. I can't do that yet. I'm trying my best. I got a boy at Stanford. I try that. So we'll see y'all down the road. Love y'all. Be good. All right, Mike. Yeah. This game is still going. There are eight points. Yep. Yeah. John's back. Hey, John. The Wild House. Wild Hatch House is here. Come on. There's B E. Once he gets you on your hip, it's a wrap. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now we're going to get keep control of it, but we couldn't quite, quite do it. Coach, when you look at this this collection of fine fine individuals, <laughs> how is it that Quetuani, perhaps the best person in this group here, is the only one you kicked out of practice? I don't think that. <laughs> yeah, you did. You definitely kicked him out of practice. Yeah. I, thought I, I thought I stopped because I kicked Derek Coleman out of practice and I realized he was so happy. Right, Kill, he definitely kicked you out. So that he didn't have to practice. I finally caught him out in the parking lot. The charge. Yeah, yeah. Well, the no, charge. I don't remember throwing Quentin. What? Were you being soft? Was that it? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Earlier, we were talking about uh, how you know he, you know, Mello didn't want to leave and, and Coach was throwing him out. I'm, I'll tell the guys, Coach was trying to throw me out just the first week I stepped on camp. Hey, Quez, you know what Coach Bennett but told me? I just me? kept sneaking around, sneaking around. <laughs> you know what Coach Bennett told me, Quez? 
Was that your brother at Wisconsin? Uh huh. You know, Coach Bennett. We play. Yeah, yeah. So he, Tony said, he said, "I don't know how you got quest to play so hard. I can't get his brother to play that hard." <laughs> oh. Good job, C4. What is you? The um, I remember when we went to Michigan State. I remember me and my team came out on the on the court, and the whole time they were just yelling, "Brother is better." <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like they were savage. You know, Michigan State fans were savage. They they. they they made us try to walk from the uh because the bus broke down. Yeah, yeah. We had to drop us off five, five and five. We couldn't even go as a team. Yeah. Crazy. Where was that? I forgot yeah. about that. At, at well, Michigan State. Michigan State. That's when Melo forgot his shoes, right? Forgot his shoes. That's right. <laughs> He's been so mad. That's where we had all I know, all I know is we won. We get there. We had to we couldn't get the plane. From Notre Dame or something, we couldn't get to Michigan State. We're sitting someplace. Yeah, we had to fly into uh, Grand Rapids exactly. and take 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 the bus, and then we had to take cabs as a game, taxi cabs. That's right. Well, hacks are back, John. John Tommy. Uh, Tommy, how you doing? How are you guys? Tom Tommy wasn't born yet. <laughs> He's on his mom's belly, which he really wishes he was born five months earlier. <laughs> right. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's right. <laughs> and I, di I didn't go to this game because I, I talked to Jake the week of the game. And he's like, "Come on down to the game." He said, "I'll get you tickets." And I said, "I've been to three games this year: Memphis and the two Connecticut games. We're zero three. I said, "I'm not going anywhere near the <laughs> Louisiana." It's a good thing. We're still up 12 with seven minutes to go. I tell you, we just couldn't. We should have been able to put this game away, probably, but we didn't. I don't know how you felt, Coach, but this must have been the longest, probably seven, fifteen of my life. Man, I thought we were in pretty good shape, but you know they're so explosive, you don't know. But you know, we just wanted to take some clock, and that's what we do pretty well, and get good shots at the end of the shot clock, but. You know, and for the most part, we did that. We didn't make too many mistakes, but the game, this game got close. Free throws. We missed some, but they missed some too. So it was kind of a they, they missed a bunch. We, yeah, we were lucky. Both teams were equally terrible. Yeah. <laughs> they were they were twelve for thirty. I mean, I looked it up yeah, last that, night. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. Thirty. I tease, I tease Nick Collison all the time. And I think, we, I think we were like, we only missed seven. And I think we were like 10 for 17. So as, as Jerry said, T Max said, we didn't exactly light it up. No. It was really bad. Which I think we missed him at the end, though. I think we missed him. Tight rims, tight rims. Yeah. 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 Listen to that. Listen to that. <laughs> no, no, your second free throw, your second one you missed at the end. I don't know how it had one was, it off well, before the halfway end. down and it rolled out. Yeah. They rattled around. Didn't want to see the free. Had to make it interesting. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. wanted to lock up in position to blocked. make the most historic it's play in Syracuse basketball it's history. But it, it is. Look, look, hey, Hack, look, look behind Tommy. Look, look, look at the uh, look at the yeah, photo I mean, we have. I make them free throws. That photo's worthless. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? <laughs> this is the most iconic image in the history of our program, right here. It's a national championship winning play, D block. Absolutely. No, it's not a the day. Every time I see a Syracuse fan, that's, that's the first thing they say. Thank they don't you. mention the tea bag. Oh, I love the tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's that's that's, that's second. That, yeah, yeah, that, that is that was pretty good too. In the Texas game, T Mac. That's the one. I still don't understand, well, I still don't understand the call. I still don't understand that the call on that. That wasn't a charge. That was an embarrassment. Listen, the, the worst. That was the an worst, embarrassment worst, inflicted by hack. The worst play, the worst call in basketball. There's two of them. It's it's the double foul mm -hmm. and the charge count the basket. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was an and one. Well, the he didn't give you enough credit. You jumped from 14 feet. <laughs> 
the dunk Notre Dame, right, Hack? That was the dunk. That, that, that was crazy, too. That was, that crazy. was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy, too. That was crazy because they fans was talking so yeah, they were talking. crazy before that. Yeah. You were talking after that. I remember you I know, like, like the air, like when, when I did it, like the whole gym was like <laughs> quiet. <laughs> That's when Notre when Melo pushed the guy out of the way and got the tip in to win the game at the end. <laughs> the bad <band air. laughs> <laughs> Had to have it. Boom. <laughs> Had to have it. That's right. Two-handed pusher. <laughs> mm. Everybody Billy. talk to uh, Perm? Where's Perm at? Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just trying to call Perm, actually. That's what I was trying to do, trying to see if we can get him on here somehow. Billy's in witness protection. He's never out. He's, he's hiding. Hiding in plain sight. How about Bob, how about Bob Gilbert? We, we don't know about that. <laughs> what? You said what? We know about that, Billy. We know where he at. We know where he at. <laughs> Y'all want somebody to find him? We can find him. We, we uh, know where he at. <laughs> huh? You remember those days? Uh, I do. <laughs> I don't remember you find Paul Harris a lot. Uh, <laughs> I drove a, a few times up the throughway that that uh, it was a couple years. Where is Paul? Thought he had a vacation a year. He said, "What? <laughs> next to vacation?" <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, man. Billy just That's put his up ten. John. That's right, Billy. Great hands, too, man. Defensively, great hands. He's strong. <laughs> okay, JP. Chris Conn is going on here. Jonathan Sandgarden. Oh, my gosh. You got, uh, you got to be careful with his microphone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bronzo, <laughs> wow, yeah, hey, look at him. That was hey, a that's cute guy right there, Sam. My guy, <laughs> that's definitely my guy right there. Huh? Where, hey, where's Cowie? Yeah, where boy. Is Cowie? Where is Andrew? Mello, where's that? Our game at Florida State. He's probably in Mello's closet up there. Last I heard, he worked for a New Era Cap Company. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's good. I remember, I remember before, before practice. Remember before practice, all the Cali and Todd Force. He makes that. That would have been the game. <laughs> hey, Cal, Cali won us the Michigan State game because he that morning it was an afternoon game. Yeah, and he bought the school newspaper and showed it to Mello when yeah. Alan Anderson said he was going to lock Mello up. Mello was so furious. He left his shoes. <laughs> Calvin's like, Calvin's like, you gonna lock you up, Mello. Mello was steaming. Mello came out on fire. The Michigan State. That. <laughs> you remember that? I remember that, of course. You remember that, Mello? Of course. <laughs> A lot of tried, not many have succeeded. <laughs> Now we have me. I was I was hot that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good thing because Hill made 11 threes against us. He yeah, was messing with me. Now he was messing with me the two days before that game about that game. <laughs> that cowboy. Okay, JP. JP was huge in this second half, man. Yeah. Well, Bayon let me rock out in the tournament. He let me. He let me. Let me go in the tournament. I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, okay, coach. Let's go. Okay. 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 He had no choice. Jerry ran out of gas at halftime. And he went. He all through. So, uh, Billy, Josh, and Mello. Hack took the whole game off from scoring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on the free throws. 
<laughs> Guys, we're coming up on the uh, the stretch run of the game, so at the, the under four timeout here, I'm going to kind of keep it just to the players and coaches that, for the stretch run. I think we're all interested in, in what they have to say, and the rest of us will, will step aside. And I'm hoping they're going to run we sh uh, one shining moment or something like that, but maybe we'll uh, – We'll open the floodgates back up uh, to everybody here at the very end of the game. It's been fun. Some 3,000 people watching on Facebook, so can't thank all of you enough for uh, sharing your, your time with us tonight. Hey, Matt, great job by you. You guys you put a lot of work into this to get all, all our former players, coaches, everybody. Just shows there's no, there's no program like the Cutes. None. Hop, great to see you, man. Best great of the family. You. Coach thank Weaver, you. thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. No disrespect. Also shows everyone's got a lot of time on their hand. We got a lot of free time. A lot of free time. <laughs> Might as well just stay on here all night. Might as well do the next game. Who got <laughs> <laughs> we can commentate the 2K game later. <laughs> Look at Sandgarden. Hey, 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 I wanted to say one, you know, uh, uh, Mark Johnson said we all look a lot older. I think Quest looks identical. You look, <laughs> look, <laughs> you look tremendous. Well, he was 30 when he was at Syracuse, wasn't he? <laughs> 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 looks fabulous. Everything I know about barbering and uh, man grooming. Howie. Howie's here. Man grooming. Let's talk about man grooming. Look at his beard, oh, boy. That's oh, perfect, boy. Time. perfect time. What up? <laughs> oh, man. Ciao, boy. Thank you, man grooming. Man -groom. I'm getting ready for the bachelor. I got to get ready for the, my bachelor appearance. So. <laughs> wow. I've never seen an Italian sub in human format. <laughs> <laughs> now the real story. Now the real stories. We're gonna get to the real behind the scenes stories that no one wants to talk about. <laughs> uh, we, can't, we can't do that. We can't do that, Cal. <laughs> is it true that you just try to get as close to Melo as you could so that you might be able to grab a girl that just knocked out? That's the smartest move. Smartest move I ever made in college. <laughs> I was driving class, man. Cal, I was y'all poor roommate. You know that. <laughs> Yeah, was our was, <laughs> I was a fourth roommate. I was a fourth roommate. Definitely was. Mello was in there more than we was. <laughs> well, really, Mello, you had a single. I did. Because <laughs> Billy was never in there. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, uh, but you know what's so funny about about this group is that what people don't talk about is the is everyone's personalities, right? Everyone, we all were like a, just a fun, loving, just, we all had, everyone had the talent. You guys had the talent, but the personality is what made, I think, that run so special is that everyone was just having fun. That's it. That's it. I don't know about the, I uh, love it part all the time, you know, Cali. <laughs> <laughs> what about that frat part that we went to in the morning? <laughs> so, I, had to bring, I had to bring you guys along, so I look cool, man. <laughs> Well, Matt Gorman didn't always get along with one of the, the, the video coordinators. <laughs> Where are you going, Coach? Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We couldn't get There's Bruno. Bill O'Brien's there, too, by the way. I'm grooming, right? <laughs> JP, you got that video, right? I got it. What? <laughs> I got it. I'm going to hold on to it. Mello got it, too. He got it tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt Gorman, you legendary, bro. Nah, uh, man, that's you, bro. Griffin. <laughs> GA, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's coaching, too, a little bit, right, Matty? Yeah, man, Juco ball. Ooh. Okay. Good okay. Good. The record. Record. Record, uh, let's not talk about that right now, Coach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a work in progress, okay? Building character, that's what we do. That's right. <laughs> Here's the dunk right here. Greg Ford, that's a good dunk. He, kicked, he, he grabbed you, too. How about that, Craig? 
Very cool. Feels really good to look back on it. <laughs> Thanks for the pack. Appreciate it. That was a good, really good play. That was a big play in this game right there. Huge. This is when the free throw shooting started to go south. Yeah. You jinxed him. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> We kind of wanted to put Grace on the foul line there, right, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> 40% <laughs> free throw shooter. I remember right before that in the time now you told me, go ahead and foul out. We got other guys. I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 well, had you missed two or th how many free throws did you just miss? I forgot. Just one. Oh, just one? Yeah. I thought it was three. I... No, no, no. I thought the most underrated thing about our team was I thought we could really pass the ball, everybody. Yeah. From Craig to Hakeem mm. to Melo, the guards, like I thought we could really pass. We've, we've, do you remember that? Remember the game, that one game, Big East game that changed all that? Because we were having a little issues early on in the season with the pole passing, but it was the Rutgers game oh, where, yeah, Ooh. where things kind of turned, of everyone started getting better on the same page after that game. Herve La Mazzana. Yeah, yeah. the three. Guy the three. To that was up. unbelievable, that three. He was tough. That was that guy. He was tough, though. <laughs> he was a problem. Of course, yeah. yeah. That was Hacks, yeah. Are you saying that Hacks not a great defender in the bottom of the zone? I was good guy, bro. A lot of jokes going around, you guys. <laughs> in practice, can I be on Hacks' side? I want to get some shots up. I want to be on Hacks' side. I know he's not coming out. <laughs> we, we do remember that. He could never get out there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think he could. He just sometimes was just didn't feel like getting out there. Jerry, what do you think right now? Huh? What do you think Hop's thinking right now? Who, Hop? Yeah, what's he doing? I don't know. Why don't we ask him? Hop, what are you thinking right now? What do you got going through there? I had to yell at my kids for a minute, and I had to put you on mute. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you to know how dysfunctional it is in my house. Get it in order. <laughs> bleep me out. I got the cage in the basement, so I just put them down in there. <laughs> Quest, how are the girls' tennis games? Good? Yeah, yeah, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Uh, they just shut. They just shut down about two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, they getting settled. They competing. I think they're gonna be pretty good. How old are they, Quill? Hopefully, they got their mom athleticism. <laughs> <laughs> they got a <laughs> Janai is the older one. And Sade is the younger one, so they're 8 and 11. The, the older one is competing really well. She, you know, she was, she'll do something in the next two or three years, I think. Uh, that's one of the reasons we moved back here to the States, because the girls uh, are pretty good, and they couldn't really get the same opportunities that they could over there like they could get here. But y'all will see. Y'all will see. Okay. Okay. Mighty Q in my state. He's, a, he's in Florida now. Yes, I am. <laughs> I, I didn't even know that. You didn't know. I, I didn't you. know that. Man, it, it must have been on one of those apps. It must have been on one of those apps. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, Hakeem is the worst, though. Man. He like, oh, this, like, he work, like one letter. I'm like, what, what, what's this? This guy graduated with a degree. He only writes with one letter. Come on, man. Or emojis. <laughs> Trail, trail. Julie, get rid of this. Boy, do a Jimmy come hey, up. you're right here, man. Hey, oh, oh, Quill, come back. There's a shot of you and Jimmy. Oh, a shot of us. 
There's Jimmy Behan right there. So, uh, did about a minute to go in the game. But he's hiding. <laughs> he's taking all this in. He's enjoying listening. I got 2.30. Where you guys at? I got 2.30 left. I got 2.22. I'm on Bourbon Street already in my mind. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm running a little behind, and I guess. Hey, Quell, remember I said, look, you guys can't be hanging out on Bourbon Street. He was like, I got him, I got him. <laughs> we have a little curfew. I see, I see Mello in the hotel with a red mark on his hand. I said, Mello, what's that? <laughs> Try to try to stamp the front of his hand. Turn around. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what is what is going on here? <laughs> Be that whole Bourbon Street. It was it was it was it was like it was Marshall Street. It was all cute. Man, yeah, we were used to that. <laughs> and it was warm out. <laughs> Oh, it was hot. <laughs> then instead of rain. <laughs> I, think, I think we ran into Gus Johnson somewhere in the street. <laughs> 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 no, no say nothing when he, when he does a telecast. <laughs> I'm at a minute 53. Yeah. TV turn up. <laughs> Did we, did we already passed where JP missed that guy's coming up as Collison fouls out. So you kind of had him at that point. I think yeah, Josh, missed that Josh missed that layup that would have made oh, it a little easier. That layup. Is, yeah, he still thinks yeah, about that. That would have closed it out probably. That might that might have closed it out a little bit. Yeah. It, yeah. it was such a great move. Yeah. He got a dump and called a timeout. And then we had to rely on Hack to make two free throws. And <laughs> I figured he'd just make history and make the block in the corner. <laughs> I'll take the block over the free throws. <laughs> That's what a, I was thinking. We got a five-point game. We got a five-point game in the national championship, and we waste an entire shot clock and get a layup. <laughs> With two seconds to go back up seven. Like uncanny, this team had an uncanny ability to waste clock and still get quality looks. It was crazy. It was the most guys can get their own shot. Yeah. Important. Oh, we did. We went small the last two minutes, right? Yeah. Uh, Craig fouled out, so we, we had we had no choice. <laughs> but really, really that wasn't small though. It it back then it was small, but really not small. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. Hack at the five today. Yeah. It makes it easy when you can look at that. <laughs> uh, what was what was Carlson's chance to guard you, Mello? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm ahead. They, they, they wasn't trying to foul me though. No. You know, the great line of that whole final four was uh was Saturday in the Texas game. Come on, Mello, Mello's on fire. <laughs> hey, I, and he's getting, hey, he's hey, getting, I blew it. I blew it, bro. I blew it. Mello's getting every call, <laughs> every single call. And TJ Ford just yells at the ref and goes, he's not Jordan. Come on. Hey, I remember. <laughs> 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 he was so fuming. Uh, and he, TJ Ford was the player of the year that year. Yeah, he was fuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wanted yeah. Texas out of everybody. That's what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, I saw his mother at the Adidas party. Friday night, she told me, you going home, coach. I said, okay. <laughs> TJ Ford's <laughs> mother. I saw the Adidas party. You going home. I said, okay, we'll see. <laughs> you talking big like that? Yeah, she told me I was going home. I said, all right. He had just got player of the year, right? Right before that. Yeah, right? yeah player of the year. Yeah. Yeah. And they beat that UConn team. We were having trouble with that UConn team. Yeah. Yeah, they wanted the next year that UConn team. Mellow that player of the year stuff or whatever whatever other award people were getting. Like was you paying attention to that and was you using that? Nah, but I was hot when they gave it to TJ, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I was hot when they gave it to TJ. Anybody else could have got it but him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Josh Pace, you missed two layups. 
That was me. I was out of character at the end of the year. You took me out, too. You took me out, too. You took me out, too, but you brought me back, though. I missed the free throw, too, like a minute on the clock. Matt wants the picture of you. Shoot right now. I missed two of them. I missed two easy ones, too. They don't look easy, but that was easy for me. The second one was real easy. The first yeah. one was a little harder. Two of them. I don't think you'd ever miss both those shots ever again. No. You might miss one, but not two. He was setting he was setting the scene for his roommate. Yeah, he gave Hack a chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know I look out for my boy. That's right. Roommate love. That's right. <laughs> Forty seconds. That first free throw didn't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you were just hoping to hit rim. Yeah. Oh, Mello, you almost felt good though. Too. Yeah, I missed one. Front end. Huh? Front end. Yeah. yeah. Boy, we could have really made it a lot easier. <laughs> In my mind, the game is over already. <laughs> Coach B look like he keeping it so cool and calm. I know on the inside he all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> now, that, now that I'm a coach, now that I'm a coach, man. His shirt is soaked right now under that suit jacket. <laughs> <laughs> he all over the place. Coach, you're looking at that clock every every two seconds. You're looking up. You're looking at that clock to make sure it's moving. Crane. Get this game over. Get zero. No more zeros. Then Gray's makes the free throw here with 39 seconds to go. He doesn't make any free throws, and he makes a free throw. Oh. Yeah, yeah, not so hot. There's Jimmy, and there's hey, Jimmy. Hop, you remember this? Hmm. Hop, I said, Hop, we good. They can't make a free throw. Hop looked at me and said, we can't either. <laughs> 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 Weaving. <laughs> Weaving. <laughs> uh, I hate commercials. They got a lot of commercials in these. <laughs> Man, these, these networks got to make money. They got nothing else going. A replay game. They got a lot of commercials. <laughs> Coach, one of the questions from our viewers is whether you still have the hat that you had walking down Bourbon Street. You know, where it's, at the, it's in the Hall of no, Fame. No, it's at the Hall of Fame. If you go to the Hall of Fame, you can see it. It's, it's okay. there. It's in the Hall. Julia, I thought you burned it. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when we landed, I remember I wore, I wore it on the plane. We'd been up all night, so I'm like, I'm gonna wear this hat. And when we right when we start to land, I look at Jim. I'm like, you know what? You should put this on when we get off. And I thought he'd say, No way, but he goes, Whatever. And then Craig, you asked me if you could wear it, and I'm like, I think Coach is gonna wear it. You looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no recollection of what happened after that night. Absolutely. You, you absolutely do not. Who went to bed? I got pictures, actually. Who went to bed? I don't know what happened after that night. Blur. The, 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 the locker room at the end of the game was a blur. Yeah. Remember now, this hotel was a mess. When we went back, we couldn't even get into the hotel. It was so crazy. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. Does, it, does hey. anyone remember the the end of the, the speech that Beheim gave after the game? No. I don't remember I any of it. He I mean, just no. came back. What, what, what did he say? I don't what think he had any I didn't think he had any I was speechless. <laughs> You were speechless. You were, it, it was such a shock. It was just walking back. We were like, is he going to say something? <laughs> <laughs> he, had the, he, had the, he had the box score. He had the box score sheet in his hand. He gets looking at the paper like to go over like what we did wrong or something. Cause that, but it was just, he just kept walking back and forth because it was just a, a shock of the moment of craziness. Yeah, he was thinking about that. Awesome. That's what he was thinking about. Coach, coach was in them. Coach was in the clouds right there. He got that tip yeah. off his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys hey. pregame, but coach had to keep coming and going in and out of the room, just like you know, that was a Texas right? game. That was a Texas game. That was Texas. That was Texas game, Matt. That was Texas game. 
Yeah, that was Texas. Yeah, he, didn't, he didn't feel good. And then Mello, you said, Coach, relax. I got this. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> we got this. It was, this. It was <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, this is the out of bounds. You almost felt went out of bounds on that play, Mel. Boy, that was close. The one on the sidelines when you yep. took the time out. Yeah. Was... You can't do that anymore, right? You got to be two feet inbounds. You got to be two feet. Oh, that's illegal now? Yeah, thank God. Well, he had one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, Mello. Thank God. Great play. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, Quest I met Quest on the line. Quest, Quest made, made one. Quest the guy yeah, made, made one. one. He could have made it two, but he made one anyway. That was good. <laughs> was he had me on the bench. Making <laughs> 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 <He's> excuses. The whole time. I was tired. Bad, bad COVID. <laughs> I tried to get Josh out of there because he couldn't make a free throw either. <laughs> I made, I made him. Hey, I made him in the Texas game. Though. Yeah, you did. Yes, yeah. yes, you yeah, did. did. We played really good against Texas. Jeez, yeah. they were pretty good. Yeah, that was our best game of the year, Texas. But you think better than Michigan State game? Yeah, State game was the best. Texas game. was pretty good. We uh, just, just because of the situation, Cowboy. Yeah, yeah. But we broke, didn't we break Michigan State's home record, right? Yeah. Yeah, but we broke. I thought Texas game, we, we was we was clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, we was locked in Texas. Yeah. Quest mm -hmm. is going to make this is your the one you make. That was big. They can get us three with 24 seconds. I think this is where Heinrich gets an open shot out. Yeah, they, like they, Jerry got screened. They pin down off that secondary yep. break. He was yeah. close too. Great rebound. Heck gets a great rebound with 13.5 and That's it's easy. He missed both and, of them. That was the second, that was the second rebound of the game, right? That was number two. <laughs> <laughs> second rebound of the game. <laughs> One ball. We got all the <laughs> nah, cousin didn't rebound that year. <laughs> that wasn't his job. That wasn't his job that year. No, he didn't rebound that year. He just that game. He Whoa! Was, <laughs> and seriously, you you thought you were gonna make one of these, didn't you? Nah, I thought that second one was good. Yeah, it looked it went it went in and out. The first this, one this, this, this this first one, I couldn't even. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> My stomach was hurting. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> you <was> nervous? Man. <laughs> you look Hello, what did you say to him? That first one, I just wanted to get the <laughs> well, We can seal the game. <laughs> 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 Now here's the play where this is a great play. Quet comes up, they screen and go the other way, and then they screen Billy, and you come up really good. This is unbelievable. that's an unbelievable play. That's an unbelievable play to come out there. Yeah, unbelievable. The timeout, the timeout after the block, though. Bayham ain't know what to say to us. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to yell at him for missing the free throw. <laughs> Well, watch me jump afterwards, though. I thought the game was over. <laughs> money, yeah. money, Q. Like, yeah. money, you money, Q. You definitely had to close out. You definitely had to close him out right there, though. Because that was hiring. You yeah. definitely had to close him out. Absolutely. Well, Don't know, worry, I got the back, you Money know, Q. Three, 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 three point shooter. That guy in the corner coming off the bench. Well, it took him like five minutes, right, to get the right clock, the right time on the clock. Yeah, took yeah. a while. Mm -hmm. Well. It really goes out of bounds with about two, yeah. Yeah. Seven. What are they, what, one, seven? Well, this is when you grabbed the ball off the, on the rebound. I thought you were almost goaltending it here. <laughs> <laughs> so did so Roy Williams. Yeah, that's so what it was. Roy Williams was going, goaltending. <laughs> you don't even close. You don't even close. <laughs> It's amazing how high got shaker. that shot. Did you see the body shaker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we was all over him. The body shaker just stepped. Yeah. I've made it to my mind. I was the only one besides Coach. I said, win or lose, I'm going to shake hands. I told Turner, I'll 
As soon as the clock went off, everybody just ran on the floor. I was the only one the floor. went behind and coach. We, just we were just talking about that with Mike Wars. He <laughs> showed me the picture. You know, the crazy thing is like Red, you, uh, Cowie and Reb is like <laughs> one of the first people, and they they not they wasn't even in the game. <laughs> now, now we're in the game. That's why we say we're in the game now. <laughs> but we, we were talking. We were talking about that picture right there. Like Cal, this like <laughs> Mike Waters was like, "Yeah, Cowie, that's that's pretty impressive. He's not in the game. He's one of the first one." I, I had oh, sneaky guys, speed, look at the man. celebration. Sneaky speed. I just I just remember Melo saying, "I can't breathe." I can't breathe. I'm going to die. <laughs> that's what I remember. <laughs> not a bad way to go out though. It was top four seer. Top four seer just started, and his aggressive nature just started flying. He, he, he threw a hack into the bomb. He threw yeah, it to no, but, but the club <laughs> came on and like did the, like a, a wrestling like jumped on the pile at the end. It was a picture of it. Quiv yeah. had the basketball. Quiv had the basketball. I tried to steal it from him, no, not knowing that the people were gonna come get the basketball from us. <laughs> <laughs> keep the ball, but uh, they came and took it straight from us, man. <laughs> CBS is gonna sign off here, guys. But I'm gonna. Uh, I've got one shining moment. I'm gonna play for everybody to to watch one time while we're all here still together. Coach, what'd you say to Coach Williams right here? You know, it was uh, he, you know, it, it was know next time a great game, and you know, I I told him the same thing Bobby Knight told me. I said you're going to win national championships. You're a great coach, and of course he has. So it it did turn out right. He just had to go to North Carolina to do it. But uh, uh, you know, this was such a great effort. This whole tournament run from these guys. <laughs> such a young, such a young team to be able to do this, um, and in the way Kansas came back, the thing that you kind of forget a little bit, we had that seventeen point lead. It's only a three point lead with seventeen minutes to go in the second half, so it's not like we had a huge lead the whole game. We had to go back and establish the lead again, and we did. We took it back up to 10, 12 points. And then, you know, hang on at the end. But it was uh, an unbelievable, for such a young group of players, uh, it was unbelievable. It's something you just, it's one of those moments you never forget the rest of your life. Hopefully everybody here will live to be older than me. I'll live to be older too. But uh, this is something you'll never forget. And all you guys sitting right here. Great to be, be with you. Too. Really great. We got a few more years left, though. We're gonna have to pull a few more years out. These thirty days, these days are gone. Have a good perm. Perm was. Perm, but perm had just lost his mom, though. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Earlier, earlier in the year. Yeah, yeah. Perm was smiling at the robot. I was thinking about that. I was thinking about it, actually. Yeah. Guys, we can't thank you enough for participating. This was awesome. Shows uh, great strength in the program. Great to see everybody so healthy. Hope you stay safe. You know uh, you know where to find us, and you're, you're always welcome back here. You all know that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. We'll play one shot in a moment, and then we'll, uh, we'll call it good. But... Uh, stay in good health, and we'll see you around. Okay, everybody. God bless. Oh, thanks, Hop. Thanks, Julie. Leave. Good to see everybody. Man. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thanks, Hop. Yeah. Fam. Q's fam. Absolutely. The audio from that or not? I don't know any other way. Luther. I guess I'd have to stop sharing. Kind of sucks without the audio, obviously. So, yeah. Did I see any audio? No. Tom, we'll just do it again. You know what I mean? Shit. I won't. I won't abort it. But huh?
still fun to see all of the memories. Hey, Mello, remember when a uh, coach would just like say something in the huddle? You'd be like, oh, no, we'll not be high. Is uh swirls swirls coming into this call today or uh t-shirts and stuff? Danny's wearing Danny's wearing mellow shoes that he left in the hotel room at Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Swirls being stingy with the dry fit. Dry fit just comes out from Nike. We can't we go and get like two. <laughs> we got a two here. We just got it. <laughs> you, you do know the saying, it's not me, it's Nike. <laughs> <laughs> Swirls, I know they make this in, in navy, so I, I don't want all, all orange. Can I get a navy one? I got all orange shoes. I'm like, can I not have orange shoes? I want some blue shoes. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, Carmelo's got all blue shoes. 